Welcome back design students. As you can see here I've gotten the word donuts finished and now I'm going to create this piece and some of the donut pieces and I'll let you watch me do that. So I'm going to zoom in here a little bit and I think I'm going to close my attribute editor so I can have a little more room to work. And You can do that just by clicking on that tab and it'll pop up and again when it needs to. In your curves surfaces shelf here is the EP curve tool in case you want to get it from there. So each time I click a point, I drag a little bit to see how the curve is going to behave. Let's see if I try to go too far, I'm not going to get the curve. And I'm going to leave a little gap there. Yeah, I think that's good enough for that. So we're going to go ahead and make a sweet mesh out of this one. Now I have some pretty sharp corners here, so I'm going to adjust the precision a little bit. Just a little. And then cap it. And then smooth it. And then delete the history. Now for this and this and these, I'm going to use the arc tool. So I'm going to get that three point arc tool, grab it here, here, and here. And I don't like that. That didn't do like I want it. So I'm not going to use that. I am going to use it here though. So I'm going to grab it again. Here, here, and here. And that's perfect. I'm just going to leave that. Again, perfect. Leave that there. It's not quite perfect, but we can adjust it. Now we can make multiple sweep meshes at once by selecting multiple lines and creating them, like so.
Now, if you end up with a point that you don't need somewhere like this one, you can just delete it by hitting delete on your keyboard. So as you can see, I got most of that donut created in the time of this video, so this is not that hard. These right here, these sprinkles, are just straight lines, so those will be easy to do. If you want to take a look at your progress from time to time, you can go to the channel box and toggle the visibility of your reference image to see your mesh objects. And I noticed right away that I got to work on this curve here. I think that's a little wanky. So when we come back in the next video, we'll finish this thing up, assign materials to it, and export it for Unreal. And I'll see you then.